hey guys welcome back to my channel so i hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe so today's video i wanted to do a really quick chit chat kind of like an adulting with helen video i basically want to start a series on my channel where i basically do like a bunch of really useful helpful adulting videos to help you just with like whether it's to do with driving whether it's to do with your mentality leveling up in your early 20s like i'm in my early 20s i'm 21 so it's a thing where like i know like i now need to stop becoming an adult and there's certain things that i can't be weaned and like there's certain things that i can't just rely on my parents or like adults around me to do for me it's a thing where i actually need to pattern up and do those things myself because i am a young adult so there are going to be loads of different topics within this series adulting with helen the first video in this series is going to be about car insurance my car insurance video has done so well so i've got two more car insurance videos that i want to do because girl the ad sets on those videos i'll be getting i'll be getting some money off of that so um today's video is going to be basically my experience having driven for two years with car insurance so i have used auto Saint car insurance for two consecutive years i'm coming up to the end of my second year i'm not too sure i'll be honest with you i'm not too sure if i'm going to use them again for my third year it depends on how cheap it's going to be and also if there are other co competitive prices from other brands then i might go with them but i just kind of wanted to explain my experience with auto Saint just for anyone who's like maybe thinking about it especially as a first time driver so when i passed i used them when i um you know started driving because they were the cheapest around at that time that's really why i used them auto say do have quite a few negative reviews bad reviews um a lot of people feel like the brand isn't as helpful and for me personally once i passed my driving test and i was looking for car insurance my main objective was what is the cheapest i didn't want to think about what um premiums they had what benefits they had do i have to use a black box i did not give an f all i cared about was what's the cheapest and for a lot of young people who pass their test that's their mentality as well because we're not trying to spend a lot of money we don't have a lot of money so it's a thing where it's like okay my main objective is what is is the cheapest car insurance deal is a fully comprehensive because i really recommend everyone to do fully comprehensive rather than like third party if you don't know what, what the different types of insurance coverage you can get please check out my first video on car insurance and all of that it basically goes into detail about that i'm not going to explain it but my for me my thing was i need fully comprehensive i need an insurance that's gonna cover me so there was that and then i was thinking as well monthly so for two years straight i've been paying monthly i have not paid outright just because of my financial situation for me i would rather just pay monthly it doesn't sit right with me to pay the full amount if you can it's always better because it's always cheaper however don't feel ashamed if you need to pay monthly i pay monthly and okay yes an extra 200 pounds but in the grand scheme of things it works best for me and my financial situation so i'm going to basically explain my experience in my first year with auto Save, my second year as well and then i'm going to give some advantages and disadvantages like personal advantages and disadvantages of auto Saint car insurance as someone who's used them twice in a row for their driving okay so i've got my notes here and i'm just going to be looking down here and there so i remember like exactly what i want to talk about just a few details about the type of insurance cover i got from auto Saint. i got a fully comprehensive insurance with the option of social domestic and pleasure excluding um commuting when you're signing up for the insurance cover they'll ask you okay are you using your car every single day to commute from work like the same location every single day or is it more just social and leisure so i picked the social and leisure option i picked the social and leisure one because i don't drive to uni every single day even if i do drive to uni i only go into uni like three times a week so it's not like an every single day thing for my first year how i found out about auto sync was from confused.com i really recommend using confused.com to compare the different insurance covers for first time drivers because they can pick out the cheapest one i know money supermarket does the same thing as well um 
and another one i forgot the name but there's quite a few websites where you basically put in your details and then they collate the cheapest most convenient insurance covers for you so that's how i found auto sync they were the cheapest at the time i had to use a black box scheme when you first pass your test a lot of the insurance covers you will have to use a black box which can be really annoying but at the same time if you are just focused on trying to find the cheapest price then i just say firm the black box you know watch your driving a little bit don't be don't be speeding too tough um but yeah like i would just say go for that because it's the cheapest one obviously if you can afford you know more pricey insurance cover then you don't need the black box but for me for the first year and the second year actually i had to go for black box so they did come and install it and it was included in the deposit price so i'm gonna explain how much um everything was so i did pay monthly which meant i had to pay even more than what the original price would have been if i paid yearly so i paid a 272 pound deposit to secure the obviously monthly payments and the monthly cover so then after that i paid 130 pounds and 41 pence every single month for 10 months after the deposit so in total for the first year i spent 1576 pounds and 99 pence so that is expensive i feel like for a 19 year old that's not cheap um obviously if i paid yearly i think it was supposed to be 1300 but because it's your first year and if you are quite young i don't know why they just don't trust us and they feel like we're more prone to get into an accident so you do have to have quite a lot of money saved i do have already a video on like how to save for your car which you can also use on how to save for your car insurance but um yeah if you're someone who can't pay a lump sum of like 1300 pounds um i would definitely say go monthly you do have to pay probably like an extra 200 pounds which can be annoying but if you're not in a financial position to pay yearly but you still want to you know pay for car insurance then i just say go monthly firm the extra 200 pounds like for me the 130 i didn't really feel it because it was just every month oh they're taking 130 boom okay but if i had just let <laughs> 1300 pounds come out of my account at that time i would have felt it really bad i'm glad i opted for monthly instead of yearly so a little bit more detail about the black box so the black box basically tracked my driving skills it tracked my speeding so if you are actually someone who like your tendency is you drive a little bit faster you do have to be careful when you have the black box because the black box can literally pick up anything and everything and what happens is autosync will give a username and password and on your account you can track your speeding so if you know you've gone past the average speed or like they catch okay you've been speeding in junctions where you've passed the limit they're gonna warn you and if you consecutively do it they can actually revoke your insurance they can cancel your insurance completely which is really unfair but i guess in the same sense they're kind of training you to become a safer and more careful driver so it depends on your perspective and how you see things the black box it's gonna be the biggest snake okay so you gotta be careful you have to remember okay shoot i have a black box in my car let me slow it down it's there to help you but you don't really feel it you don't see it i don't know where in my car the black box is like the guy just installed it and that was that i've been having it in my car for the last two years so yeah it just makes things so much more cheap hence why i did it okay so now i'm gonna talk about the advantages of me using auto sync for my first year so the first one is it's actually quite affordable for first time drivers um when you use their black box scheme you do save a lot of money because there were other insurance covers that i saw at the time when i was trying to find my first car insurance cover and they were like 2k to 2500 3k and for me that is not cheap that for me in it if you've got if you're blessed enough to have that money that's amazing but for me i was all about affordability and just getting the cheapest one really so in that sense it is actually quite affordable paying 130 a month for 10 months and the 272 pound deposit didn't really seem like a big deal for me at that time anyway so it is really subjective to you you might think that's expensive or you might think that's really cheap 
but for me an advantage was at that time it was actually quite affordable so with autosync you do get a option of paying monthly or yearly so i really liked having the choice and the freedom with monthly as well it does actually improve your credit score because you are regularly paying back and as long as you don't miss any payments it does show that you're a reliable person so when you want to go out and maybe get a mortgage or get other things you paying your um, car insurance on time looks good on your credit score and obviously with the black box another thing is you improve your driving skills as annoying as it is you don't realize but because you know okay there's a black box in my car i have to be more careful when i'm driving and over time that's going to make you a better driver hence why i even feel like they do the whole black box things to just train you on becoming a safe and careful driver so in that sense it's actually improving your driving skills without you even having to realize that so the disadvantages is of course your speeding is being tracked so if you need to get somewhere real quick start going heaven with a black box unless you take the risk but with that if you over speed your car insurance will get revoked that's really annoying and irritating and yeah it's not really fun another disadvantage is obviously paying monthly does acquire a lot more funds so you will be spending a lot more money it's an extra 200 pounds plus just to pay monthly because obviously if you decide to pay monthly what happens is a financing company will pay um, for your car insurance on your behalf and then you're paying them back every month and so of course they're going to add interest which means you pay more money in a grand scheme of things that can be very irritating and yeah so that side of it is like uh. i'm going to briefly cover this year my second year using autosaint and just how that's been I haven't really felt it much just because we've been in a pandemic so obviously i still had the black box still fully comprehensive how much did i pay so because i had already had one year of driving experience um i was able to get a deal with them when i was um, renewing my car insurance i think the price of it was 900 pounds for the whole year and the woman gave me a deal where i would only have to pay 150 pounds for six months this isn't something they regularly do but obviously if you've been with them already they kind of want to keep you so she gave me a deal of paying 150 for six months and then the rest of the six months i wouldn't have to pay a dime which i thought was actually really amazing because there's no interest with that so i decided to do that deal it helped me so much because literally after i finished paying those six months the next six months was so hard for me financially so the fact that i didn't have to pay for car insurance and all of that helped me so so much so that's a perk if you've been with autosync before and you are renewing maybe try and contact them to see what type of deals they can give you because this deal was amazing for me okay so in terms of if there was any problems i didn't really have any biggie big issues with auto saint in my second year just the fact that they kept emailing me say if i took like a month off of um driving because of lockdown i had nowhere to go um they'd be emailing me like you need to contact us asap there's been an issue da 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 because they want to know okay why are you not driving like we're tracking the black box and you haven't used the black box and it's like well like I'm, i've been at home like just like you yeah that was probably the only irritating issue i haven't really had any bad experiences with auto saying of course i'm not saying they're perfect because i have seen some really bad reviews um about them but this is based on my experience and obviously for me my main objective when getting car insurance is always what's the cheapest and what's fully comprehensive so that is literally the last two years using auto saying i've explained the disadvantages and the advantages overall i can't complain um in about two weeks i do have to renew my car insurance for my third year and i don't know if i'll use them it depends how cheap they want to what type of cheap deals they want to give me it depends on that but um i will be looking elsewhere just in case to see if there are any other cheaper deals and better deals as well but guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this video the weather's getting so dark sorry for like the lighting change and stuff i am obviously using natural lighting but um if you did enjoy this video make sure you give this a thumbs up and you subscribe down below and i will see you guys very soon take care bye